A rocket ship. At launch, a rocket ship weighs 4.5 million pounds. When it is launched from rest, it takes 8 seconds to reach 161 kilometers per hour. At the end of the first one minute, its speed is 1610 kilometers per hour. A. What is the average acceleration in meters per second square of the rocket? Uh, first during the first 8 seconds and second between 8 seconds and the end of the first one minute. Part B. Assuming the acceleration is constant during each time interval, but not necessarily the same in both intervals, what distance does the rocket travel uh, first during the first 8 seconds and part 2 during the interval from 8 seconds to 1 minute? Okay. So, uh, first of all, the motion starts from rest, so we have to write here V0 is equal to 0 kilometers per hour. And this is at time 0. When we reach uh, 8 seconds, the speed is 161 kilometers per hour. This is at time t1, which is 8.00 seconds, and the speed is 1610 kilometers per hour, when the time is t2 equals 1 minute. So let's start with part A. We want to know the average acceleration for the first part. So this is part I. This is uh, the change in the uh, velocity delta V divided by delta T. So we have a final uh, speed V1, initial speed V0, divided by the delta T, T1 minus T0. Uh, the final speed is 161 kilometers per hour. Initial is 0, divided by 8 minus 0. So this gives us uh, 161, uh, which has to be converted to uh, meters per second. So it is 161 times 10 to 3 meters, divided by 1 hour, which is 3,600 seconds, divided by 8 seconds. So that gives us 5.59 meters per second square. And uh, since the problem involves three significant figures for all quantities, this is reduced to three significant figures. And for the second part of part A, average acceleration during the time interval 8 seconds to 1 second, we have a change in velocity divided by change in time. Uh, this is one dimensional, so it is the change in speed, v2 minus v1, divided by the time interval, t2 minus uh, t1. And that's going to give us, um, we reach 1610 in one minute. Uh, we're starting from 161 in 8 seconds, which has to be converted to meters per second. So it's 10 to 3 meters is 1 kilometer divided by 3,600 seconds, 1 hour. The time interval is 60 minus 8. So this gives us, as an answer, 7.74 meters per second square acceleration during this time interval. So that's our average acceleration. So the average acceleration is found by calculating the change in velocity divided by the change in time. Since I have uh, the rocket accelerating in one direction, uh, it's basically equal to the uh, magnitude uh, of the velocity uh, v1 and magnitude of the velocity v2 because they are in the same direction. Uh, so we can just calculate the change in speed divided by the change in time in this case. So in part b, uh, 
between the time interval t0 equals to 0 seconds to t1 equals 8.00 seconds, we assume that we have a constant acceleration for this part, which is 5.59 meters per second squared. So it's the equal to the average acceleration. Now the acceleration is dv dt, which is the second derivative of position with respect to time, d square y dt square. So the change in the velocity delta v is the integral from 0 to t, where t is in this time interval, a in part i dt. This is going to be 5.59 t, uh, which is the velocity at time t divide, uh, minus velocity at time 0. Velocity at time 0 was 0, so this is basically equal to velocity at time t, which is dy dt. So uh, we can find velocity at time 1, v1, to be a 5.59 times 8, which is 44 0.7 meters per second. And from here we can calculate the change in position delta y, the total displacement between the time 0 to t is uh, v of t dt, 5.59 t uh, dt, which is uh, 5.59 t square divided by 2. So the displacement we have in this, uh, so let's call this vi because we are talking about first part of uh, this problem. So delta yi in the time from 0 to t is uh, when t is equal to 8 seconds, t is equal to 8 seconds, is found to be 5.59 times 8 square divided by 2, which gives us uh, up to three significant figures, 179 uh, meters. And for the second interval, from time t1 equals 8 seconds to uh, the final time t2 equals 60 seconds, that's one minute, we have an acceleration in this time interval, a sub ii is 7.74 meters per second square, equal to the average acceleration, which is related to a rate of change of velocity, which is related to second derivative of position with respect to time. So the change in the velocity, delta v, from time uh, t1 to time t, which is in between t1 and t0, we have acceleration double i dt, which is going to give us 7.74 t minus t1, which is t minus 8.00. So that's our change in velocity. This is v of t minus v1, which is v of t minus 44.7. So this is v double i of t rather because we're talking about uh, what's going on in this case. So uh, if you multiply 7.74 with this parenthesis, we get 7.74 t minus 61.9 is equal to v double i of t minus 44.7, so we find that v double i of t is uh, 7.74 uh, t minus 17.2, which is equal to the rate of change of position dy dt. Okay, so uh, we can calculate the total displacement delta y by integrating the velocity between the time interval t1 to uh, t 
uh, this is 7.74t minus 17.2 dt that is 7.74t square divided by 2 minus 17.2t which is to be evaluated between time t equals 8 to time t where t is in between 8 and 60 seconds. So this gives us 3.87 t square minus 17.2 t minus uh, 3.87 times 64 uh, plus 17.2 times 8. So in the first part, I substitute time t, 3.87 t squared minus 17.2, and subtract from this the evaluation of this quantity at time t equals 8. So plus becomes minus, minus 3.87 times uh, 64 t squared. And minus becomes plus, plus 17.2 times 8. So this gives us, for the displacement, uh, 3.87 t square minus 17.2 t minus 110. So this is for part double i. So I find the total displacement, uh, which uh, at at this time interval by delta y double i evaluated at t is equal to 60.0 seconds and that gives me 3.87 times 60 square minus 17.2 times 60 minus 110 and that makes uh, 12,790 meters since I'm supposed to give three significant figures. This is 1.28 times 10 to 4 meters by using a scientific notation. Okay, so to summarize, we have a rocket ship. Uh, the weight is not important in this case. We we're talking about kinematics. Uh, it is launched from rest. Eight seconds is the time it takes to reach 161 kilometers per hour. One minute is the time it takes to reach 1610 kilometers per hour. We want to know the average acceleration in these time intervals. First eight seconds between eight and one minute, eight seconds and one minute. And assuming we have the constant acceleration, which is equal to the average acceleration in each time interval, we want to calculate the distance the rocket travels in the first eight seconds and in between eight seconds and one minute. Average acceleration is the change in velocity divided by change in time. So it is v1 minus v0 divided by t1 minus t0. And in the second part, this time interval becomes t2 minus t1. So the first time interval is 8 seconds, second time interval is 52 seconds, 60 minus 8. The first change in velocity is 161 minus 0 because we start from rest. The second change in velocity is from 161 to 1610. So we calculate the average accelerations in these two time intervals. Then we assume a constant acceleration, which gives us velocity as a function of time. Uh, so for the first case, we have 5.59t, which is related to change in velocity uh, uh, with change in position as dy dt. So we take one more integral from 0 to t, 5.59t dt. It is 5.59t squared over 2. If you evaluate this at t is equal to 8, then it becomes from 0 to 8, and that gives us 179 meters. And in the second case, from 8 seconds to 60 seconds, we have to be careful. We need to know the uh, velocity at time t is equal to 8 by calculating 5.59 times 8, it's 44.7 meters 
meters per second. So in this time interval, 8 seconds to 60 seconds, we have the final velocity at time t minus v1, where v1 is 44.7 um, meters per second, is equal to the integral from t1 to t acceleration dt. Acceleration is constant, 7.74. The time interval is from t1 to t, where t1 is 8 seconds. So we calculate v of t uh, using this integral, which is dy dt. Take one more integral from t1 to t uh, and set t is equal to 60 seconds to know the total uh, displacement from 8 seconds to 60 seconds. And that gives us 12,790 meters. Since we express everything in three significant figures here, uh, I have to reduce this to three significant figures, so it becomes 1.28 times 10 to 4 meters.